เรียกว่าแนชั่นอลทองไทยระดับโลก Welcome to Campur Test 2015. It's just the basic desktop background that you'll start in. If you want to get to the start button, you just click down here in the lower left-hand corner. And what you'll see is kind of a combination of the best from Windows 7 mixed with the best from Windows 8. On the left-hand side, you'll have the most frequently used applications, and then at the bottom, you'll have the system pin. So this is things like File Explorer. You can power on and off and get to settings really easily. You also have the All Apps button here. If you came from Windows 8 and 8.1, you know it was kind of confusing because you had to swipe up from the, the, the Start menu and kind of filter through a weird zig. Zag. But now we have them all listed together alphabetically, um, modern store apps as well as Win32 programs all in one consolidated list. Then on the right hand side, you'll see the modern apps, uh, live tiles that we brought from Windows 8. Um, so this is fully customizable, you can move things around, you can resize them, um, fully up to you how you want to do that. You also notice if you're coming from the Windows 7 side, the live portion of the live tiles is it's actually giving you updates from those applications without you having to open it up. So you're seeing right here the latest mail that I have in my inbox or my next appointment on my calendar. So it's a good way to get an at-a-glance update without having to open up those. So that's Start Menu, familiar whether you're coming from Windows 7 or Windows 8. Another thing that we've brought to Windows 10 is our personal digital assistant, Cortana, which we had on Windows Phone. So we actually think she's so important that we brought her in directly into your taskbar. So what you see here is when you click on her, what shows up is what we call a home daily view. So this is this will give you curated content for you based off of your interests. Um, you also might see if you have a, the next calendar appointment on your calendar. She'll tell you when you need to leave in order to get to that appointment on time. So it's very customized and tailored to you. You also see uh, you have right here is the notebook. This is where you can control exactly what Cortana knows about you as well as how she uses that information. So I usually do things like food and travel because that's the information I'm most interested in. Again, fully customizable to you. Um, you can also do things like uh, reminders. Sorry, right here. You're able to set reminders based off of time, place, or a person. So time is something normal. Remind me to take my vitamins at 9 a.m. Um, a place is nice. Uh, you could say, remind me to buy eggs on my way home. Um, and what's, what's good about this is you can set it when you're, you remember that you need to be reminded on your desktop. But it's the same Cortana across all your devices. So once you set it on this device, it'll actually go off on your phone. So when you're near a grocery store, it'll pop up, giving it to you at that relevant time. And then the other nice thing, version of reminders that you can set is based off of a person. So say you need to remember to give your boss some kind of documents the next time she talks to you, you can set it here and that reminder will actually go off whichever way she reaches out to you. So whether it's via email or text, it'll serve it up at that appropriate time. That's some of the functionality we brought over from Windows Phone Cortana, but we're actually adding on some functionality that is very PC specific. So I can't do it on this screen, but you can um, you can use her to uh, search your content across the web, across your OneDrive cloud storage, and across your Windows 10 devices. So say you're in a meeting or in the office and you need to pull up a document on the charity auction, all you have to do is type that in or speak it into this bar, and it'll pull up all the documents you have from that. Um, so that's just, that's just one example of the things. We also imagine a world where she can help you learn how to use your device better. So say you don't, you're new to Windows 10 and you want to learn how to project your screen, you can actually ask that in this it right here directly and she'll tell you straight from that bar. So we're still building off of some of that functionality for Cortana, um, but we are, she's your digital assistant that will help you be more productive and do more. So it's a quick overview on Cortana. This computer is set up with what we call Windows Hello. 
basically what that is is uh, our new feature of using biometric data to unlock your devices. So this can be an iris, face recognition, or fingerprint. It just depends on the device, what, how that's going to come to life. Right now, this computer is actually using a, uh, an Intel RealSense camera. Um, and so what that does is it's actually using your face. And the RealSense camera has two cameras, actually. So it enables it to uh, recognize a three-dimensional plane versus just a 1D. Um, and then the other thing that this camera has is an infrared sensor. This means it will be able to recognize your face regardless of the lighting conditions, which is really good. So you can see it in the morning, if it's really bright, or even if you're laying in bed at night it'll still work. So uh, maybe one of you guys want to come up right now and try to unlock it with your face? Yeah? All right. So you see it's uh, maybe try to get a little bit closer. And it doesn't recognize you because you're not my face. Now get out of my computer. So now you'll see it's actually quite fast. It recognized me and instantly logged me in. Do you want to see it again? It is fast. We have to cover it up because it's so sensitive. It'll actually won't walk because it sees me there. All right, so doing it again. It's looking for me. And there it goes, right back to the thing. So it's fast, it's nice, it's more secure than using a password. You don't have to worry about changing it. Um, and if you're like me, you use the same password for like 90% of your uh, accounts, which is not a good thing. So it's a lot, it's a lot more secure in that, in that regard. All right, so what you're seeing here is our new browser called Microsoft Edge. There's a few really cool things that we've done. It's completely built from the bottom up, um, and it's our new one that we're bringing to Windows 10. So what you're seeing right now um, is actually a website. Uh, you'll see that Cortana, we've actually integrated her into the browser. So this is a, a restaurant uh, web page, and you'll see up here at the top, Cortana shows up saying that she can help you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up here and click on that. And what she's pulling up is actually a map of where the restaurant is, as well as directions on how to get there. She also gives you, oh, she also gives you information like uh, Yelp reviews, what kind of food is the best here, and some images. So this way, I don't have to worry about navigating this website, and I'll get the, all the information directly here. So another really nice thing about our new browser, Microsoft Edge, is the ability to write directly on a web page. So if you go up here on the right-hand side, you can click on this, and you can click on a different, you can choose the pen color that you have here, and you can write it directly on the page. I'll do hi for now. And then you can either save it up here, or you can share it. So this gives you an easy way to mark it up and share with people. So imagine you need to send someone your order, um, or if you want to uh, make some changes to some kind of dress, you can easily communicate that and share it over to your, to your people. Um, so that's the main, one of the new main features of Microsoft Edge. We also have what we call the new tab page. Now, you might not realize, but this is actually content that is completely personalized to me. Um, what you'll see here is you have the top sites listed up here at the top. You generally only visit about five to six sites anyway, so this is an easy way to jump between those. You also see this featured app section. This is showing me recommended apps based off of my interests, so again, coordinating with the interests that you have set on Cortana, as well as uh, recommendations based off of your current library. You also see things for the current location you're in. And then the rest of this down here is actually content that's customized, again, to those interests. So you have videos and you have articles based completely around me and curated for me. So that's a quick introduction for, for Microsoft Edge. We have annotations, we have a new tab page, um, and then we also have Cortana built strictly into the browser. สำหรับที่เพื่อนๆได้ชมจบไปนะครับก็เป็น Windows 10นั่นเองนะครับตัว Technical Preview นะครับก็จะเพื่อนๆจะเห็นนะครับว่าเป็นการรวม Windows 10นะครับเป็นการรวมกันนะครับระหว่าง Windows 7นะครับที่
ยูเซอร์ที่ใช้งาน Windows นะครับทั่วโลกส่วนใหญ่เลยนะครับทั่วโลกก็ให้ความเห็นว่าเป็น Windows ที่ดีที่สุดนะครับรวมกับฟีเจอร์แล้วก็ฟังก์ชันใหม่ๆนะครับของทาง Windows 8นั่นเองนะครับก็รวมกันมาเป็นตัว Windows 10นะครับแต่ที่เพื่อนๆได้ชมจบไปนะครับก็เป็นฟีเจอร์ท็อปๆนะครับที่อยู่ใน Windows 10ตัว Technical Preview นั่นเองนะครับสำหรับตัวเต็มนะครับของ Windows 10นะครับก็อดใจรอกันอีกไม่นานครับทาง Microsoft ก็จะได้ปล่อยออกมานะครับให้พวกเราชาวคอมพิวเตอร์ได้ใช้กันนะครับอีกไม่นานเกินรอเรียกว่าเนชั่นอลคอมไทยระดับโลก